Well, this is Townley of Townley's Music and the administrator of Doodly and Townley PNGs. Um, I'm going to do a walkthrough of Animator for you. And it's a really good app. It gives you like a slideshow feel to it. But there's a lot more you can do with this. It's quite good. And um, I'm going to start you off with doing a new scene straight away. Uh, because it's the best way to show you. First of all, it's got a bright screen on there. You can change the colours like going to the next one these are already set ones so you can change the sample text on there and everything um, you can go to the next theme down and do all the different ones on there as well and so on with all these these are already default setting way type things so they're like, like templates that they've done for you really in a way but you can change them as how you like afterwards if you want to and you can also put your name in of the title you want so whatever you're going to call your project like like this for example but don't click enter uh, if you click enter the box will just go off and you have to just do it again uh, as well as that you can change the slide size from 640 all the way up to 1920 uh, between these four really um, and they're strictly to those ones I'm afraid but other than that it, there's a lot of good things about this app that you don't get with a lot of the other apps so uh, I'm just gonna do that and then it comes on and then if you want to add another scene or two like that you go on to the next few ones of them like so right and um, with having the extra what's it on um the extra slides on you can add transitions so you can't add transitions to the last one but you can add tr transitions from the first to the last one right so you've got move left move right move up move down zoom zoom out and fading right so you can add all them and you've got your gif animations which is a lot of really good ones on here so you've got that one let's see what that one is there you go so we'll add that one to the first one second one another transition gif animation you've got one of these click on that okay you can actually add them to all of them if you want to um, you know if you wanted to add one type of uh, transition to the lot you can there's another one try that one okay and uh, next one right so we'll just show you these for a minute give me some idea what kind of trans transitions they do which is some really good ones just add some more all right I want another that. that's pretty powerful one that is and then last last but not least we we'll just add one more right we're going through them do that one okay that's that so we've added some transitions to it right now uh, if you want to have a look for them we'll just do that then just playing that you saw that one here we go another transition next transition coming up yeah it was pretty good i like that one and that one's nice as well i like that one as well that was swell as well and there you go that's some of the tr transitions that are on here and they look pretty cool don't they right anyway let's go back to the beginning right that's how you start off a new one you can click on the sample text box because they always give you a sample text box for your first slide anyway um you don't have to have it you can delete it if you want to by just right clicking and delete there's a select here in case you've got two or three different um text boxes in a similar place or if it's a image or a anything else 
it'll come up with those ones in there and you can click on the one that you want right as well as that you can go to slides and change the theme the background text images sounds video and transitions again uh, you can delete it or you can copy it like that and just go paste now copy it down there or you can delete it like that or you can clone it which is similar to um, copy really um, so I delete that and then you can do add a second state and if you click on it the second state comes up and you can move the second state to wherever you want it to go to so it'll show you where it's going to I'll show you that one like that see it's gone down to there right okay so you saw that right let's turn that off and let's go back to the beginning right um, if you want to add more texts you just add and you get another text box and then you can remove it if you want to and you can have uh, apply in slide apply in all slides you can change the sample text so sorry hello world like that and put how are you doing today question 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 like that right and you can with that you can do things I've, I've put the uh, capitals on there and I accidentally caught the capitals never mind it don't matter um, what I can do is show you the appearance effect when it comes in so when it enters you can have fly in direction left to right or right to left bo top to bottom bottom to top random and you've got other things besides flying like appear rotate shake inflate fade in or random I'm just going to do a fly in at the moment and I want to do you can do word by word line by line letter by letter so we'll just do word by word for the moment we'll just do that right and just press ok right and let's go back to the beginning and play it on like that and that's how it works right so you can do all that right you can click on it sorry click on it again and then you go um, you can change the style to whatever you want it so like Broadway or something um, you can change the size that's your size of your text you can add bold italic and underline you can change the color to whatever color you want um, you can have, add a text highlighter if you wanted to and you can add a shadow if you want to as well so I guess and shadow can be any color as well I'm going to leave it at black at the minute so we can have a look see what that looks like there you go that's how that looks like so we can take off the text highlight if you want and make it a bit more that's it that's better right now if I do that I could uh, change that back now because I'm too bold and too big I'll change the size to 70 I think right to make it a lot smaller right that's, that's better right hello world how are you doing today right and that will just slide down there in a minute we like that as well as that if you have a look on this side you can see there's like a triangle there that triangle at the beginning is the entrance so if you want to pull it along like that it'll um it'll take longer to enter right so we'll show you see it took a bit longer to come on now these white lines they are the movement from the top to the bottom so that's where the top starts and the bottom can take a bit longer lot like huh and then if you do it it takes a bit longer to get there right okay so that's what you do with that um so t that's basically most of the text you can what you can do with the text there's there's quite a lot of different things you can do with it you can do letter by letter line by line word by word random so it'll pick one at random 
disappearance effect you can fly out or out tight out fade out disappear immediately or random as well so that's quite a lot of stuff you can do with it right now let's get on to the next one which is images and add an image you can add characters like right, this character here maybe like that and he's just a png you can fly him in make him appear rotating in flight or whatever uh, from direction from bottom to top maybe an effect out fade out right something like that you can do that right so that's what that one will do and as you can see it's got two triangles one triangle at the beginning and one triangle at the end where it's the ending fade out so let's show you that right it's faded out right as well as that you can you can move it along where you want it to start and where you want it to finish like that it doesn't have to start where you want where it, where it's been put and you can move it about where you want the character be to be like that and you can also add a second state to that character as well so if you want to do a second state you can move you can stay up there you want to and it will do that for you so what we do I'll show you that and now he's going to drift over that way yeah so you can do that right right and let's get back onto the images because there's more to show right let's just add if you go down there are some gifs on here character gif somewhere you look for one there's a character gif like that character gif look and you just uh, play him doing a little funny dance so you can add your own character gifs if you want to because you can add extras of your own right um, if you have a look add at the end you've got upload so you can upload some of your own animations Right, so you can add some to the characters if you want to like that and there's a, quite a few there like the running um, running right pointing um, with different things waving and things like that tired out and stuff there's quite a few up there that I've, I've added some on actually um, right that's all the character ones there's animations here like for example the clock that's pretty good that's pretty cool that is I like that one and you can change the gift speed and the opacity of it if you want to want it to look semi transparent you can or make it sure solid you can have them fly in as well and fly out as well like that and sort of things like that you can do that let's have a look see what happens there okay didn't seem to fly in but uh it's quite a what's it there let's just let's just stop that and go back that way a bit let's have a look at that let's try that a minute oh that's why i know why let's do that put it there that's it zoomed in that did right let's see what's happening there oh it's popped out yeah that's right okay that's fine right then you got other images as well so we'll just go through there's lots lots of different ones here that can do all sorts of different things right you got call outs and you can add to cart or whatever click on an add to cart add that on there we go on there let's have a look see what happens there there you go it's add to cart and you can do the same with that add a second state as you can see there's an arrow on the side here this arrow that helps to turn it round. if you want to turn something round, they'll have an arrow there and you, you, you make it make it red when you make it red you can turn it round so if you need to so if you do that and then add a second state and then the second state goes round like that oops 
set there. Won't let it, it won't let me do it. Oh dear. So I would do. I guess that like that. And that's what happens, so it just stays the same. It's a bit sad, but you can do it that way. Okay. Let's just uh, see that. Right, so it's gonna go to the other where the other one is. Like that. Right. Okay. Next thing we can do, um, we'll have a look and see what else we can use. Effects, we've got oh some good effects on here. Like this, I'll just click on that one. As you can see the effect. And you can uh, click that effect a few times. Where is it now? I can't find the effect. There it is at the bottom. Right, you can have it looping so it keep doing it. So when it comes on, you'll see it in a minute. There you go. And you can add some more effects to that to make it look better or different, you know. So you've got a few of those effects. Let's just go back to that. There's different colours like blue, red, and shiny. These are just PNGs on here. There, there's PNGs. Them are PNGs, but you can add them to the background. And you've got these other ones here, yeah, like that. Interesting effects. You can add those kind of effects. Um, what else is there? Add graphics. You've got straight PNG graphics here. There's a ton of them. Different sort of stuff there. And you've got overlays. Like the world or water. What's that? Water or something. It says triangle. I can't see that. Oh yeah, triangle's coming down. That's what it is, right? So you can have that. Um, so that's uh, an overlay effect on there. And let's have a look at something else. Shapes, you got the shapes as well. As well as that, you can upload your own stuff, like I've done here. There's some. I've got quite a few different things I can, I've added on, which you can add them on, like that. So she's on there, like that, right? I don't know which one that is on. It's on that last one there, look. We'll do that, look. And there you go. She's way too big at the minute. Because I haven't, uh, what's it, did her properly. So we need to, okay, let's click on there. If we can click on her. Select. Oh, I don't want to click this. I don't want to select that. I want to select that. No. I'm clicking the wrong thing there. There we go, we've got it now. It's quite big, so we need to bring it down a little bit. Like that. Let's find the edge, that's it, the edge we wanted. Bring it down. The trouble is, is it's uh, probably very high resolution, you see. That's why it's a big. There you go. There we go, got it on there now, like that. So that's what you do, you just keep clicking down on that bit and there she's at a reasonable height now. So that's what you got like that. Okay, let's just check that out. And there you can got that. As well as that, you can click on that item. Like that, and then do second state, click on it. So you can move the character across, for example, so you like that, so let's do that, shall we? We'll put that back over there, and she'll slide across in a minute, hopefully. What did I do? I've done something wrong there. There you go, sliding across. So you can do things like that with your own uh, stuff. Right, so that's pretty cool. Right. Now, um, besides that, you've got sounds. You've got um, things you can add from the cloud. And you can add your own stuff as well. You got from cloud, there you go. And you, you can, you're from local, which is your PC, or from the cloud. And you can look, see what we got. We've got Air Blast. To play it to see what it sounds like. You can go down all the way down here, and there's quite a lot of them here. 
different um, things. Shot, <coughs> shot struck one. And if you don't want to add it, you add it there and it comes on the timeline somewhere according to what you've already got it on, which is that last one. I'm right at the end there, so I don't know. <laughs> but uh, you, you click OK and it should be there. So it's at the front of that one. So there we go, we'll, we'll watch it look in a minute. There you go. You heard it then, didn't you? Right. And there's this, the sound. Right, you can repeat it, loop it, or change the volume as well. Um, you can also go on the audio path here and add your own music audio or whatever. There, a lot of action. And then, like that. You can change the volume up or down. Loop the playback for the for that as well. So it, if you want it to go any longer, you can. And press OK to accept it. And it'll be at the bottom here, like that. Right. So that's basically all the easy stuff the next stuff which we've got to talk about on another occasion is the script volume syncing and the watermark um i'm not going to do it this time because i've uh, run out of time but i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on animator and i hope it's gives you a bit of inkling of what to do with animator anyway um as well as that if you want to check uh, for a project, I think I don't think I've showed you, but you can go on a project, find a project that you've already got through looking for animator files. There's animator files, and then you got like animator diamond like that's what I've got anyway. Um, you can click on one. There's twenty minute burger, and there's it says dot smp. If I click on that. That will come up as a, a project already made. You can go on to training. The trainings will come up automatically. So there you go. Got loads of training there that you can choose from. Your content will be, um, if there's give you any bonuses, you can put your content in there. Uh, usually going to be a raw file so you can put the raw files in there and collect it from its documents animator custom themes logos and you get your raw files there right so i've got none uh, upgrades i've already showed you this i think but uh, we'll see there's your upgrades you've got four upgrades to go on to and uh, all you need to do is save your file and produce it and that's it you're done Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, and I hope it gives you some enlightenment to what Animator is about. And please give me any feedback you can about this actual video, and uh, I hope you have a good day. Thank you.